How to create a game for Android devices part 9. Add music and sound effects using Audacity. So, add it, adding music and sound effects is pretty simple in our project. Just go ahead and download and open Audacity. You can find the link for the download in the description below. Then, just modify your song or the sound effect. Export as MP3 file. Then we're going to open Eclipse and we're going to make sure that the include for the simple audio engine.h is in our source code and we're going to modify the constants.h file and we're going to add our sound, sound effects and music. So go ahead and download and open Audacity. You can find free sound effects and free music on this webpage, freesfx.co.uk. So, if you don't feel like creating your own sound effects and music, just go ahead and go into this page and download all the music and sound effects you want. I just downloaded two sound effects and a music so we can use as the background music for our game. So, I'm going to modify my music using Audacity. So. After you download Audacity, open it and open your music file. So, I'm going to open my music file. And that was in my assets. And I have my music. So, there you go. I have my music. I'll play it. And this will be the background music for my game. What I want to do now is just copy like a few times this whole clip and paste it, you know, so it produces like a looping effect inside the game. So to do that, I'm going to click the zoom tool and I'm going to right click to make it smaller. Then I'm going to click again the selection tool and I'm going to select the whole music clip. So once I select everything, I'm going to copy it, copy, and I'm going to place myself at the end of this clip and I'm going to paste it. I'll do that a couple of times. Paste. So now I have a track that is almost 5 minutes long. So let's try and preview that. You see it finishes and then it starts one more time. So I'm ready to use this music as my background music. So I'm going to go file and I need to export my audio. And I'm going to export that as I'm gonna go into my assets. Music BG for music background. And I'm going to save. Now, the artist name, you can fill this however you want or just leave it blank. So I'll just leave it blank for this time. We wait for a couple of minutes and now we're ready to use our background music in our game and some sound effects I downloaded from the web page I showed you into my game. So go ahead and open Eclipse now. One thing I forgot to mention is that remember that we always need to place our resources or, or our assets in the resources file and remember to open a sequin terminal around the dot build native sh. So it's always important to do this so I'm going to place my music in the resources and I'm going to run remember to navigate to your project directory and it is very important to close Eclipse before doing this so I'm going to go ahead and close it okay so now it is closed now and it is safe to run 
and that is going to update my assets folder. Okay, it is done now. Now I'm ready to open Eclipse. and modify the constants file. So go ahead and open Eclipse and now if you open your project and you navigate to your assets you'll find the music. So now we need to replace all the names in the constant file with all the names that we have in our assets. So open the classes and open the constants file. And replace everything for the name of the files we have. So for our background, for, for the gameplay, we're going to use this file. And since I don't create I didn't create an HD file, I'm going to use the same one. The live, it's called my. If you remember, the in the sprite sheet, we added the live uh, image. You can check that by double clicking your sprite sheet. Here it is. And there you can find the live. And just remember the name that you gave to your image. In my case I named it live.png. This is going to stay the same, remember. The pop-up background uh, well we're going to call this the menu.png then we have the menu background And this will be the image for the main menu, the background image. So I have that as title underscore HD. And I don't have two versions either of that, so I'm going to use the same name for both files. Then let's go to the bottom images. So inside the sprite sheet, if you remember, we added a big button, a small button, and a pause button. So I'll, I'll leave those names like that. Then we have the text. I'll leave this like as it is. And the background music. So for the background music, I have the music bg.mp3 file that is here. And for the sound effects. So every time an enemy is hit, we're going to play the fly kill dot mp3 sound effect and every time we lose a life we're going to play the lose life dot mp3 file for the name of the sprite sheet we have to name the fly game sprite sheet dot to list and I only created one version I didn't create an HD version so I'm going to place the same one for the HD version just let me check if the name is correct fly game sprite sheet fly game yeah I'll leave the game rules as they are you can go ahead and modify that if you want and the font I'll use the same font and the same high score it is very important to include the font in our resources. So let's check our resources. And as you can see, I don't have the font. So you can get the font file from the download exercise files in the app that I created. So go ahead and download my app and get that file and place it in the resources file, the font and then remember to run again the build native from Sigwin to update the assets of your project. So go ahead and do that. So I just place all the 
font files in my folder and I run the sigwin command and I just updated my assets folder in Eclipse. So if I go back to Eclipse, I can find all of the fonts. Make sure you include all of these files in your game and the Tunish font also. Remember, you can always download another font if you don't like this one. So now we, that we have everything ready, we're almost ready to run and publish our game.